Dear friends, today I will read for you story named Sanata, which is written by Malti Joshi. So let's begin with the story. Even after sitting for hours in front of the mirror, she was not contented. A slight touch of makeup had made wonders happen, and she was getting infatuated at her own reflection. Who will say that she is touching fifty? Nothing has changed. With growing age. her face has filled a little two three strands of white hair shine on head and all these are simply enhancing her beauty it seems that nowadays her entire day goes into rushing here and there she can only look into the mirror to put a bindi on her face otherwise there was a time when she would spend hours staring herself in the mirror during those days entire college used to talk about her beauty Her form trap had binded Girish and this is the reason she got married in a big house without any dowry big house on remembering this her heart grew astringent like something sour has come beneath her teeth past days remembrance has not brought any sweet memories instead many tingling memories came up in her mind she got up with a jerk and stood in front of the wardrobe She did not intend to ruin her mood with any such rubbish thoughts. It was really difficult to choose a sari. She overlooked her daily wear sari as she was really bored of wearing them for ages. There were few sarees that were purchased specially for the occasions. But every cloth does not fit for every occasion. She had to find a sari which is as per the occasion and maintains her simple sober image. After looking in her collection, Uttara missed her daughter Nishi badly. Had she been here, Uttara did not have to think so much. She would have arranged a beautiful sari for her along with matching purse, sari and bangles. It would have never been possible in Nishi's presence that her mother leave the house in a bad state. Not only clothes, Nishi took charge of all the problems of house. One can relax completely. after assigning a duty to nishi with her presence the house also remained active and chirpy unlike now separated into islands when utra completed her phd nishi would have hardly been 16 year old staff members were asking for party she thought she would give them a treat in the canteen itself but nishi got stuck and said why in college mummy don't you have a home She made all the arrangements single-handedly. Food was prepared by caterers, but plates, spoon, napkins, ice, and pan etc. was arranged so nicely that everyone was astonished. People were again asking for party, but this time Uttara did not have any energy. Although Ashu is present in the house, but Ashu, she called, but there was no response from her. as she knew these days ashu was busy roaming around her father when nishi was there ashu used to roam around her with nishi's marriage both the girls went out of her hand she shouted again but a little rudely ashu what is it mummy ashu stood before her like a statue on hearing her accent uttara got angry and asked her rudely why are you not ready yet we have to go Where? Oh yes, today is your function, right? Oh, but sorry, mummy, I cannot come along with you. Why? asked Uttara. Papa is not well. He is having fever. Anything new in this? Nothing new. But I cannot leave him like this. Mahadev can sit with him like for two hours. Yes, he can sit, but mummy, there will be literary talks, and I will not be able to understand anything. I will get bored. Okay, fine," said Al Uttara, finishing up the topic. Ashu was waiting for the answer. She immediately turned and moved. Uttara kept watching her for long. These days, Ashu was developing her mother's nature, but far away from her heart. Nishi, on other hand, was just like her father, but she was her mummy's daughter since small. From last few years, she had become more of a friend. Uttara can talk to her openly on anything and Nishi would console her like an elder sister and make her more patient 
Sometimes she would fight with her father for Uttara. Girls change so much after marriage. All the love and compassion gets lost after marriage. Now Nikhil and Mantu are her world. Mummy, Ashu appeared again in front of her mother. They all have arrived. Oh, has it struck four? She looked at the watch astonishingly and said, "Ashu, make them sit and offer them some water. I'm just coming." Uttara turned towards mirror to see herself one final time, and she could see Ashu's sad face. Uttara turned gross. She can't even offer a glass of water to my guest, and she can make tea for her father in every half an hour," whispered Uttara, and swallowed all the anger. She wanted to keep herself happy. "Hello, everybody," she said very happily, and entered the hall. But Satish Mehta was sitting there all alone, reading newspaper. Glass of water was kept in front of him, in a tray untouched. "Let's go," Uttara said. By all means, madam," said Mehta and got up. But he stood there again. Uncle will not come. Uttara had reached the door, but saw Satish was still standing there. No, no, uncle will not come. He is not well," said Uttara by composing her words. And Ashu ji asked Satish a little curiously. No, how can she come? Someone has to stay with him also. Although it was difficult for me to come. But since you all have made such a big program, and by saying this, Uttara came down from the stairs and was standing near the car. Mehta had to come with her forcefully, but while opening the door, sitting on his seat, while starting the car, his eyes were constantly staring at the closed door of windows. But he only faced disappointment. Poor Satish. Uttara felt pity on Satish. Poor fellow, he likes Ashu so much, but this girl never leaves her father alone even for a minute. She did not come along. That's okay, but she could have at least come to the door to say good luck. I feel angry on her father. Such a delicate mood he has that every moment he needs to hold someone's hand. A lone brother of five sister, he has got a lot of love and pampering, and this is the reason why he gasps. when he faces the reality the sickness of which ashu is making a mountain nishi knew it's her nerve she used to say it is nothing mummy simply job sickness it is like running away from the responsibilities make him free from all the responsibility and then see him nothing will happen and she was absolutely right whether it was filling of electricity bill or house tax children's admission or to bring wheat from the hometown grish would get fever from the mere imagination if not fever then either his back would get stiff or his head would hurt he never ever supported even during the children's sickness at the time of nishi's engagement he was even admitted in the hospital all the time nishi's grandmother would put the entire home on head during grish sickness In her screaming and process of utter nuisance, the main objective would get lost. She used to curse Uttara by saying, "A single man would not be able to carry so much responsibility. Had you given birth to a boy?" She used to taunt in such a manner as if there was a boy, then he would have jumped out of the cradle to help his ailing father. After his mother's demise, Grish was very heartbroken. He tried to lean on Uttara's shoulder. But how can Uttara serve Girish in that sincere manner? When could she do? She had to look after the kids. Her job is no more a pleasure for her. It is more of an added responsibility now. This big house was a mere fake show. A nameplate of law firm has been displayed so that no one could say that Girish is a lazy fellow and lives on his wife's earning. Rest only Uttara know or her god knows. After facing disappointment from his wife, he took hold of his daughter Ashu. He is not realizing that he is spoiling his daughter's life. Don't know how come she has got the feeling that her father would get all alone after her marriage. Is loneliness so horrible? After all, Uttara is also living amid loneliness. For years she is facing loneliness even by standing amid huge crowd. She never complained, madam. She woke up furiously. 
car swept like a fish and had reached the college and she didn't even realized in the patio were standing some of his colleagues and students for her welcome while coming out of the car she was in dilemma to come in her own college like a guest was making her feel awkward she was refusing constantly but students did not convinced her pride and respect had been adorned by everyone how can they let it go all of this was so unexpected that uttara herself was astonished after years of study and hard work she wrote a heavy book named indian women's societal consciousness rise and development she could arrange for a publisher very difficulty she only hoped that if education department would purchase the book then the book will be made available in the college library if people will read it her hard work will pay off but surprise the book got academy award she could not believe her ears a wave of happiness spread across her students award ceremony was to take place in the capital city next month but the students arranged one felicitation ceremony that small faculty hall was decorated beautifully while entering the hall the principal himself welcomed her which left her in dilemma she was laden with flower garlands then the round of speech started her students were mesmerized with her achievement but when few colleagues also appreciated her she felt happy principal sir also said few words because of uttara their town school was now inked on the national map district magistrate was the chief guest she was given a statue of veena pari and out of the obligation dm also had to say a few words for her she kept on listening and thinking ashu and her father should have been here they should have seen that how much respect she gets out of home but why will he come here he did not have the capability to listen to his wife's praises that day few people had come home with this kind words and then also girish could not accept it easily he said with a frowning face that we have given her full independence devote your entire time in your subject don't worry about the home we will look after it we are no genius but this is the best that we can do for you inferiority complex was peeping out from each word she felt to disclose him in front of everyone sometimes it is necessary to fake the play of a happy home on remembering this incident her soul hissed all the happiness of pride and excitement drained she wrote a speech by awaking all night but when she got up to say she could not speak even a single word for the first time she needed a help of paper listeners thought that the happiness has choked her throat otherwise she herself is goddess saraswati while returning home from college about half a dozen people accompanied her and gift was in their hand itself door was closed in the same way no one came to bid goodbye nor did anyone came to welcome her ma'am we will now leave someone said and then it felt like a hammer had hit the soul after such a big program they will all leave me alone and go mere imagination gave her shiver how can you go like this she said please have a cup of coffee and she rang the doorbell with her bell the silence of the house was broken so friends this is the end of the story please stay tuned for the next story you can also listen to the hindi translation of this story on my another channel and you can find the link in the description box thank you